everyone, and welcome again to The Joy of Editing with your host, Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're looking at, you guessed it, yes, Topaz Studio 2, again, working through the creative section of the filters. Today, we're looking at film grain. Not too exciting of a filter, but it's, it's a good one, especially if you have a black and white image, which I do here. Uh, and you want to add some natural film grain to your image because a lot of times black and white images look really good with a little bit of film grain. I love adding film grain to my black and white images. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. This one won't be too long today. And away we go. We're coming up to add filter, giving this a mouse click, left mouse click, coming down to the creative section and coming to... Mr. Film Grain, right here, Film Grain. Give that a click and that opens up the Film Grain filter. Now, of course, typically we have the opacity, we have the blend modes, we have the presets. We have the icon to save a preset. If we get a preset that we like, we can save it. And we have the trash can. If we decide we don't want to add grain after all, we can get rid of it. Uh, let's start off with the presets. Let's take a look at those. So let's go to extreme grain. Oh, that's extreme grain. Looks kind of cool though. It's kind of artistic. I kind of I kind of do like that actually. So that's extreme grain. Let's look at some other ones. Film grain. Might have to zoom in here to really see what it's doing. There's the bef there's the after and there's the before. Let's go to another one here. Heavy film grain. A little bit more film grain in that one and. Of course, light. I'm not going to click it because you probably won't even see it. Let's go to medium. Okay, we can see that one. I'll even zoom out and we can see it. That's kind of cool. I do like adding film grain to my black and white images because I think it gives them a nice authentic black and white film type look. And I think that's really nice to do. And I do that quite often. And I like to make black and white prints. And I generally always add a little bit of film grain because I think that really helps sell the image as... A nice photograph, you know, an authentic black and white photograph. All right, so let's go ahead and come to film grain and click the little reset icon here. And let's come down to strength. Now let's zoom in so we can actually see what we're doing here. Now let's take the strength slider, move it to the right, will give us more film grain. Let's take it the whole way up. Okay, and then let's start to move it back. And you can see the film grains getting less. So let's come to a point maybe right around here where we can see it. Now we have a size adjustment slider here so if we move it to the right we can make the grain larger. Okay so we can make it very large or we can make it very small. All right so I'm going to go with the size maybe right around here somewhere. Now you have this other slider called randomizer. And so if you move this to the right, it'll make that grain more random. So it won't look like it's just stamped on the image. And it doesn't really look like it's stamped on the image anyway. It looks really authentic to me. So, But you can adjust this randomizer. That way it'll move that grain around a little bit. So it won't just be, you know, like a uniform grain over the whole image. So I would recommend to move that randomizer a little bit. And uh, I think that will help. Now there's noise type. You have gray. If you're doing a black and white image, you definitely want to use gray because you don't want to add color noise to your image. If you're doing a color image, you're going to want to add, you might want to add color noise. I probably wouldn't add color noise myself because I'm not a fan of color noise in the image, but you could by clicking on color here. And let's zoom in to the image here. Can you see that color in there? There's some color in there. And let's go to gray. There's gray and there's color. So you can see there's some color noise in there, but I don't really recommend it on a black and white image because it will not be authentic. And uh, that is basically it. So you just add a little bit of film grain to your black and white image or color images, depending what you want. It's a nice filter and not really hard to use, but thank you, Topaz, for including it in your arsenal of filters with Topaz Studio 2. Well, I think this one goes down in the books as my shortest video ever. I am so proud of myself. Uh, thanks again for joining me today on this tutorial all about the film grain filter. I hope you give this one a try. It's a good one. It's a very good one, especially if you want to add some authenticity to your black and white images. 
and even some of your color images if you want to emulate some kind of different types of film stock. Well, thank you so much for joining me on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. And also, if you like this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber with this channel, please do so and click the bell notification icon so you can be informed of all the new training videos that I'm putting out. Well, I will see everybody here on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. 